What I'm actually going to do is, is do this demo a little bit further back, uh, just so you can kind of see more of, of the guts uh, a little bit. So let me start with what PopTest is. So it's a decentralized video platform. Um, as I said before, think of it like YouTube on the blockchain. So without advertising, you need decentralized payments, uh, real micropayments, and decentralized uh, media distribution. Um, so right now, I think what we want to focus on, just because it's kind of the, the G whiz part of the, the platform that's going to go live this summer, is actual real micropayments. And the way that we do that is what, with what are called uh, Ethereum payment channels. So um, if anyone knows CryptoKitties, you know, it was like, hey, it was, we have a, a popular app on Ethereum, and it basically ground the Ethereum blockchain to a halt, because every time you wanted to trade one, you had to actually hit, hit the blockchain. So one of the things with the uh, CryptoKitties is basically what happened is every time that you, you needed to do something fun, you hit the blockchain, it brought the blockchain to a halt, and you know, it, it's fitting that cats should break the internet because that's what the internet is based on. So Ethereum payment channels, it basically allows you to say, uh, it's kind of like a bar tab. You go in, you swipe your card, that's when we hit the, the blockchain, um, but then you order all the drinks that you want, uh, everything throughout the night, and then you close out your tab at the end of the night, which is basically when we hit the blockchain again. So all of those transactions in between, when you think of it like video, it's kind of like how you watch video, right? You come, let's say in our case, you top up your wallet, but then you start watching all the things that you want. Um, because we have these payment channels, we can make micropayments to all of the different things that you're watching, and you don't actually have to hit the blockchain until you're done. Uh, so. I'm going to go and try to show you that <laughs> from down here. Uh, and what I'm going to do really quickly is just uh, I'm going to reset my wallet so you can see me um, so you can see me uh, set it up. So I basically just deleted the memory of uh, my wallet. I'm going to shift refresh this. Um, so the thing that you'll notice now, it's like there's just a little button that says wallet here. Uh, this is a Chrome browser. Uh, and this is the, the Vinos wallet is what we're using. Uh, if anyone's heard of Spank Chain, uh, it's a, the same open source project that uh, we're supporting as the basis of, of their wallet as well as our wallet. Um, and from anyone who's used MetaMask, uh, it's very, very similar, except that it doesn't live with an extension like MetaMask does, it actually lives inside, inside the browser. So in this case, if I wanted to create a new wallet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with my very secure eight ones password, uh, you can see that it generates uh, an actual, you know, your same 12 word C that you would get um, with any other wallet. You can download that, save that, of course, um, this is uh, all on uh, the uh, test, and it's all on Robston testnet. I think that's actually the third testnet that we've seen tonight. So it's cool to see all the different ones uh, being used. So there you go. You have an Ethereum wallet inside, inside your browser. Uh, you can view it on Etherscan like anything else, and you can see that this does indeed exist on the testnet. So uh, for demo's sake, what I'm going to do is actually close this and restore my old wallet, which is my secret private key with my even more secure password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna restore this wallet and you'll see that I already have uh, testnet ETH inside this wallet. Um, so once I open this wallet, then basically what we built is a system where the page knows that you have this wallet, and then you come to a video, you're like, yes, I want to watch this video. Uh, and what you're going to see is the channel gets opened. And if we go uh, back to Etherscan, we'll see this pending transaction that says, OK, we've got a channel open with this site. Now, once that's open, you can start watching and playing videos. And let me turn that down. 
and you can start watching, watching videos. So the basic idea is once we have a, uh, you know, a fully operating site that has piles of, uh, of videos, you'll be able to just go through, go through all of these videos without ever having to watch a uh, commercial, right? Oh. Let's go back. So yeah, that's the basis. It's like you don't think about what life is like without constantly being bombarded with advertising until you actually see it. And it's like, actually, it's kind of pleasant. And it really doesn't cost you very much. I think uh, on that example, I think it was like, you know, 10 way. It's like literally fractions of, of a penny to, to watch something. Um, so that's the, the gist of, of the payments uh, part of it. Uh, and like I said, we're launching, this is the design that we're working with uh, right now, so that's gonna be, be launching this summer. And one of the things that we've always wanted to do was to make sure that when we do our token sale, the token that powers the entire network, um, we did it with an actual working product. So we're gonna have our token sale, do uh, all the auditing with the, with the token sale, and then once the token launches, you'll be able to use it on the site right away. Um, I think that's really the, the main stuff. I can kind of go through. I'm just going to go through a few things really quickly just so you have a little bit more about what we're up to. Um, so we're, we went through the Boost VC uh, accelerator program at the end of 2016, which is up in uh, Northern California, Silicon Valley. Came out of that, raised a little bit about a half million dollars, um, and used that to build build a platform, and like I said, actually uh, launching the live platform this summer. Um, my background is in film and television. We're based in Los Angeles. Um, our office is in Santa Monica. I live in Venice Beach. Um, I was a television editor before this, so uh, I've kind of seen the, the frustration of dealing with the global media distribution machine. Um, I was born in Northern California in San Jose, so it's kind of the, the heart of, of Silicon Valley. So I've been a, a geek my whole life, so kind of combine those two things, and that's kind of where you see the, the origin of, uh, of the platform. Uh, so I talked a little bit about the Ethereum, Ethereum payment channels part. Uh, the decentralized video part of it is based on BitTorrent. Um, so in addition to the wallet living inside the browser, uh, the actual video streaming lives inside the browser as well. Uh, so there's this thing called WebTorrent, which is a variant uh, of BitTorrent that is uh, with WebRTC, which means um, it lives inside the browser with uh, JavaScript as well. Oh, uh, one other cool thing. I know this is, tends to be a pretty uh, um, hardcore crowd in terms of like the actual tech and open source. So the, the two projects that we're really based on um, were active uh, supporters of, of the open source projects. I uh, talked about the, the Vinos wallet before. Uh, WebTorrent were uh, one of the premier sponsors of the project with the Brave browser. So if you've heard of that, um, obviously we're, we're in good company there. Uh, and because, like I, earlier, uh, like I said, because this is all browser-based, um, ultimately this will work on just about, just about anything. Cool. Um, yeah, and one more thing about the actual token itself. Uh, the simplest application that we're launching with and starting with, of course, is micropayments. Uh, from there, we kind of grow outward. Uh, and what we ultimately want to do is really create uh, an ecosystem and really a movement of people that want to make this work. So we're talking about uh, rewarding viewers for loyalty, for sharing content, uh, content creators, obviously. Uh, and also, once we get a little further down the infrastructure path to um, you know, reward uh, nodes for streaming and coding and all the, the network functions. Yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the deal with what we're, what we're doing. So we're, you know, one part of this is obviously a, a series of big technical challenges, um, but the other part of it, as I alluded to before, is really a, a cultural shift. I think um, we've been fortunate in the sense that uh, a lot of people are just frustrated with how things, how things are, how things are going, are willing to, to try something new. Uh, and hopefully we can incentivize uh, all of those people, all of those disparate elements uh, to come together, incentivize them with the POP token, um, and really 
um, be partners in what it is that what it is that we're building. So if you imagine if everyone uh, on YouTube or Facebook actually felt like they got value from the value that they're actually creating, uh, put all those people together, um, you'd have a movement. And that's exactly what we're really focused on. So uh, we're doing our token sale. Uh, the public is upcoming. Um, right now we're in the private phase. If you guys want to get in touch with us, I'll be around <laughs> for the rest of the day, for the rest of the night. Uh, the website, of course, the Telegram channel. Um, yeah, and I guess uh, that is that. Good morning, Come on. All right. Happy next time. Good media. Thank you. Making it happen. All right. Uh, any questions? I think we're out of time. Okay, we're, we're out of time. Okay, we're out of questions. questions. Go ahead. All right. Yes. Um, and I'll repeat for you. You're using BitTorrent. Uh, why not IPFS? Um, well, the easy thing is that BitTorrent works now, and we already know exactly how it works. Um, I don't think anyone really knows how IPFS is going to work at, at scale. Um, I don't think the IPFS guys know what IPFS is going to be like at scale. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of good happening, but um, you have a known quantity uh, that, that just works really well. And Popcorn Time, WebTorrent, uh, the series of applications over a pretty long period of time, that's pretty consistent and still gives you all of those decentralized uh, elements, which obviously are, are core to the platform. Turns out we do have time for one more question. Yes. So, uh, here we go. so is it more like a, because we're looking for decentralized YouTube generally, and um, it seems like your website still is a website, so it's still centrally hosted, so you can still take takedown notices, and you still have a responsibility both towards your clients and towards your content. Sure. So you've not managed to disintermediate, and you've not managed to apply blockchain technology to the amount extent that it could be applied. Right. Why didn't you? To a degree. I would say I accept what you're saying right now. Um, but as we go on, as we develop the POP network, the actual uh, open source project that powers everything, um, in conjunction with popchess.com, which is kind of um, the way that we kind of think of it, I mean, that's obviously the first implementation that's going to use the network. Um, but I think of it more like how Bitcoin worked with the Satoshi client, right? Which is to say, at some point early on, we were like, hey, we have Bitcoin. And it's like there were no wallets. So what are they? They had, they had to create a wallet. But at some point, there's like so many different wallets that... But that's like Steam, right? So you post to a network, but you still do it through one website, so it kind of doesn't work, but... Imagine that would be another website. Would. Right. So that's how it works right now. But our hope is that as time goes on, we won't be the only platform on top of it. We'll be able to effectively hand these tools to, to anyone else. Um, so you won't really have to live by our governance structure, whatever the nodes decide to um, in terms of voting and in terms of content. Um, popchess.com itself will be a centralized uh, entity that lives on top, but the underlying protocol, once we release that, anyone can build anything on, on top of that and we won't really have anything to, to say about it. In the same way that you have you know, one wallet that does this, if you don't like that wallet, you can go to another wallet or do anything that you want with any of those other sites, if that makes sense. It makes, so you're doing ERC20 token that will turn into the token that is on the PopChest network? Yes, the Pop token. The POP token is an ERC-20 token, yes. No, yeah, okay, so, but you just said that uh, POP Chest was its own media network? Yes, so right now the first site built on top of the video distribution platform is popchest.com. And the platform is an Ethereum smart contract? Correct. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's good, actually. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Glenn, I can answer the question. In that case, you did do it right. So. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right. I think thank you guys so much for your time.